In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an attacking 5-2-3. The subject of today's plug and play tactic testing video is the 5-2-3 Geigen Press Laterals AI. Let's break down some of the positions that are in this formation. So, starting at the back, you're going to need a sweeper keeper who is set to attack. You have three at the back, starting on the left with a wide centre back who is set to support. You then have two central defenders, the first one set to cover, the other one set to defend. On the left you have a wing back set to support and on the right hand side a wing back set to support. You then have a ball winning midfielder set to support, a central midfielder set to automatic, on the left an inside forward set to support, on the right an inside forward set to support. And at the top of the pitch, an advance forward set to attack. So, a bit of a strange one, a 5-2-3. Very unique formation. Its tactical style is set up as a Geigen Press Personalizado. Its mentality is attacking. Its in possession looks like this. Its in transition looks like this. Its out of possession looks like this. So this is a tactic that I have downloaded and I've been putting through its paces. I've run four single season sims using Tottenham, Middlesbrough, Inverness and Aberdeen. Let's jump in and have a look at some results. To kick the results off we're going to start in the English Premier League. We are looking for Tottenham and we find them in fifth place qualifying for the Europa League. Break down their season. They played 38 they won 19, drew 10, lost 9, scored 75, conceded 52, had a goal difference of 23 and they finished on 67 points. That put them 17 points behind Arsenal who actually finished in 2nd place and it put them even further behind Liverpool who won the league. One interesting thing to point out here is that Arsenal didn't draw a single game. They won 28 and they lost 10, which is just a random thing. I don't think I've seen that in too many seasons. If you go to the profile page for the league, Harry Kane scored 21 goals. Son, a 7.33 average rating. Romero got 11 yellow cards. And Emerson Royal, 14.97 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. We look at the other competitions. Knocked out in the round of 16 by PSG in the Champions League. Knocked out in the fourth round by Brentford in the FA Cup. And knocked out in the semi-finals by Brighton in the Carabao Cup. Up next we have dropped down into the English Championship. We are looking for Middlesbrough. We find them in 6th place. So no promotion. But I can tell you they were agonisingly close. Although not through the league. If we break down their league campaign. They played 46. They won 22. Drew 13. Lost 11. Scored 82, conceded 53, had a 29 goal difference and finished on 79 points. Now that put them quite a way off of the two at the top of the table but it did mean that they qualified for the playoffs. If we go into the playoffs and look at the semi-finals, they managed to beat Sheffield United 4-2 on aggregate to get to the final. And in that playoff final, they come up against Sunderland where they actually lost 3-1 in extra time. So agonisingly close for them. And it is a 6th place finish with no promotion. But looking at some of the stats. Akpom 23 goals. Fry 7.16 average rating. Lenahan 15 yellow cards. And they had Giles with 5.2 dribbles per 90 minutes. Look at the other competitions they played in. They were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Newcastle United in the FA Cup. They were knocked out in the 4th round by Lincoln City in the Carabao Cup. We have now moved on to the Scottish Premiership. We are looking for Aberdeen. We find them in fifth place and they have qualified for the Conference League. We break down their campaign. They have played 38, won 18, drew 10, lost 10, scored 73, conceded 53, have a goal difference of 20 and they finished on 64 points. That puts them 22 points off of Rangers who finished in second and even further off of Celtic who won the league. Look at the profile page. Duck was top goal scorer with 23 goals. Milovsky got 19. They had 
Ramdani get 11 yellow cards, Mackenzie 14.93 kilometres covered per 90 minutes, Richardson 4.69 dribbles per 90 minutes, Colson 4.41 dribbles per 90 minutes. Looking at the other competitions, they were knocked out in the semi-finals by Celtic at the Scottish Cup and they were also knocked out in the semi-finals at the Premier Sports Cup by Celtic. And finally, we are looking at the Scottish Championship. We are looking for Inverness Caledonian Thistle. We find them top of the Championship, getting promoted to the Premiership. If we break their season down, they played 36. They won 23. Drew 8. Lost 5. Scored 69. Conceded 32. Had a 37 goal difference. Finished on 77 points. That put them 6 points clear out of Dundee who finished in second. Looking at the profile page for the league, Mackay got 28 goals, Dea 7.29, Allardyce 7.27 and Ridger 7.20 in terms of average ratings. Doran, 9 assists, Allardyce 5 player of the match awards along with Mackay. Ridgers kept 14 clean sheets, Allardyce 11 yellow cards, Henderson 6.65 dribbles, Per 90 minutes. We look at the other competitions they played in. They were knocked out in the fifth round of the Scottish Cup by Celtic, the second round of the Premier Sports Cup by Celtic, and the quarterfinals of the SPFL Trust Trophy with our broth. So that means Inverness Caledonian Thistle are getting promoted as champions. Tottenham qualified for Europe, Aberdeen qualified for Europe, Inverness have won the championship to get promoted to the Premiership. So all in all, a decent enough tactic, one that probably needs a little bit of working on. If you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel out, I really would appreciate it. Can't thank you all enough for taking the time and coming and interacting with the channel. No matter how small or big that interaction is, it all helps the channel. Uh, before you go, don't forget there are other things on the channel. We have let's plays there are rebuilds there are other tactic videos hints tips tutorials a little bit of something for everybody right here on the channel but for this one i'm gonna leave it there a big thank you for watching i'll see you on another video very soon